Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Inc. So today we're going to do Scorpio for the month of August 2020. What's gonna happen with you, Scorpio, love, marriage, career, whatever. And this is going to be a general reading. Take it how it resonates for personal readings, more accuracy. You can WhatsApp me or Instagram me. You can also follow me on Instagram for August monthly Instagram horoscope. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. What's coming up? Watch the sun first, then moon, then rising, and then Venus, okay? So, Scorpio, according to the Western astrology, let's see. Scorpio. My God, you've been waiting for something, okay? You've been waiting. Maybe someone is waiting for your communication, or you've been waiting for someone to communicate with you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh my God. So you're waiting for a true love to come in your life and you're tired of it. You're waiting, waiting, waiting. And whatever you've got till now is not enough. It's not really, you know, doesn't uh, qualify to be in love, you know, to be the true love. So you've been looking for the true, the ultimate love of the lifetime. And you're pretty much thinking about it like 24-7 and thinking about it while working. So yeah, you're waiting for your true partner, for your true love to be with you, okay? So the person that you might be dealing with could be a Scorpio Pisces Cancer as well who's been waiting to communicate to you. So someone is coming towards you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Person could be from your workplace, okay? So this person wants to communicate with you, okay? They've been waiting to communicate with you. They have love for you. Oh my god. All right. So what happened is that uh, you guys fell apart. There was a separation because maybe you said something that affected them, that hurt them or that separated this uh, connection that was turning into something solid. So now this person wants to again try, you know, one last time. They want to still try. They want to still mend things up. So they want to come towards you with the communication, but they are feeling like you are a bit aggressive or you're a bit uh, rude or you know something like that so they they think like that that you're a bit rude or you might be asking for a commitment so yeah someone is coming for a marriage proposal someone is coming for a commitment someone is coming for marriage someone because you demand that okay you demand true relationship you demand commitment you demand lifetime love loyalty and everything that is coming towards you this person could be strongly Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn they'll have a lot of love for you I feel that this person is also looking for the same but they're not able to find if you don't have anyone like this right now in your life so this person is actually working to be with someone who is exactly their type okay so they also want royalty they also working on it but whoever they've been uh, looking for is not up to the mark does not qualify to be their perfect partner which you are so this person wants to come towards you soon and it's gonna be like automatic it's not like you tried or they tried and you guys had some sort of uh, uh you know um uh, epiphany like on and off on and off and then you guys got back together no I feel that it's like it's gonna be an automatic you know crush with each other so it's gonna be automatic let me see what else for Scorpio please this was a, this person could be very rich oh my god could you see ace of cups and ace of wands so this means that this person or you in general are going to get the ultimate love of your lifetime this person strongly is Virgo Taurus Capricorn all right so this person whoever next is coming into your life or you're currently dealing with you feel uh, is good for you this person is gonna ask you for marriage and uh, yes strong love strong passion happening and it's gonna be an automatic attraction you guys will you know you know attract each other like magnets so this person is not really satisfied from the people they've come across and now when they see you they will be finding you extremely attractive and they'll have a lot of passion and love for you at the same time so you won't have to struggle for it okay but now i got a struggle card i feel that uh, let me just pull one more card and see what exactly it's trying to say person whoever it is is very hard working and rich yeah 
So right now, this person is like struggling in their life. I feel that the kind of work that they do is very stressful. It's very burdening, but they're a very hardworking person. So I feel that this person's in this person believes in meditation a lot and at the same time but they're having a lot of struggles you know working alone but they want a partner they want someone to really be with them and you know bring that spark back or magic back in their life so i feel at the moment they they see you they're gonna feel that magic so they're really tired they've been working a lot so now they want a break now they want marriage now they want commitment so this is coming real soon okay so this person is now looking for the perfect match and now they're tired of being alone being single so yeah they're really passionate right now Aries, Sag, Leo they're gonna come towards you like real soon in August you you'll start seeing possibilities coming up okay for you so someone's gonna come towards you in a very fiery passionate way all right yes yeah. so this person is really really uh, focused on uh, commitment on marriage so this person's gonna make a very very fast move towards you so I feel that the weight is now going to get over it so yeah this person's gonna ask you for marriage for a commitment of the lifetime so yeah, this person could be into law or this person's really loyal, kind of an honest kind of a person and very fiery, passionate at work, okay? They put their point forth very clearly. So they're a very clearly communicating person. So they don't have communication issues. So yeah, I feel that they see you as someone who's very loyal at the same time nurturing. You might be having pets, some of you. So they see you like someone who's really nurturing, caring. They'll see a strong connection building up with you or they would want to. And yes, in the beginning, they will be like a bit just, you know, confusion will be there in the beginning. Like, what if this? What if that? They might have that thing in their mind first. They might approach you with a little bit of, um, you know, <clears throat> not very confidently yes they might approach you not very confidently and i feel that someone is there who is holding your thoughts in their mind but is not approaching you so in august you'll see this person actually approaching you and opening up their heart to you because they cannot control this feeling anymore someone is at the background who's watching you scorpio pisces cancer pretty much all the signs i get but this person is controlling their desire for you so they've been trying to you know uh control it in their heart but they're gonna you know come rushing towards you and open up literally open up because now they're tired like they cannot control their emotions oh my god my god what's happening this is crazy guys and this person is definitely gonna ask you for marriage so as you can see ace of wands ace of cups and ace of swords so a legal commitment coming up okay new beginning in love emotions passion and communication so a lot of love being there this person has been holding back uh, from you from a long time and now they're sick of it and now they want to come towards you they want to rush because they cannot lose you because they've been thinking about that you in their mind like 24 7 and now they can not just stop themselves and i feel that you also feel the same for this person and you want this person to really come towards you okay and if you haven't met this person then this is coming really soon so th this person has been holding themselves back in love from a long time but when they see you when they meet you, this person is going to really open up their heart towards you. So, in any which way, love is coming, okay? So, yeah. So, yes. So, they've been pretty much slow from the past, but now they're going to rush towards you, okay? You see them rushing towards you. So, they have been pretty much slow. I think this person has been a bit uh, inexperienced in love. Maybe that's why. They're taking it slow, okay? And yes, a message is going to be dropped by a call or a message. This person could be a younger person than you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh, my God. So, this person is going to offer you. <laughs> I feel that, you know why? This person is going to be a bit... Um, they're gonna hesitate you know they love you they have everything for you because their emotions are so so strong soaring high that they're not able to really express themselves you know they they're gonna 
you know bring those uh, uh, feeling of uh, you know strength in them they're gonna uh, build their guts somehow and they're gonna make a move faster than before okay now they're gonna get faster towards you now the plan is to get you okay from the side they were holding back and then they started going up slow but now they just can't so now they're gonna rush towards you real slow because it was burdening them a lot so i feel that this person is gonna really open up their heart and you will be surprised that wow someone wants to marry you yes so they'll talk about your pets they'll talk about you they'll talk about the marriage they talk about children everything they talk they're gonna talk about your parents as well how you they'd keep your parents with them like that somehow so yeah this person could be an aries person as well a bit mature than you or they might be uh you might have met this person online or this is a long distance kind of a connection or this person is from somewhere far away from your not your current place or city they might be living somewhere from a different culture or a background they might be from a different city or a state so whoever this person is very well established they're an entrepreneur or they are at a very high authoritative state okay position mm -hmm. scorpio please Scorpio in August. So, Scorpio guys, you're heading towards the ultimate love. You're heading towards that. Ultimate love. You know, you three aces. You can understand what three aces means. So, right now, I feel that uh, this person is looking somewhere else. Okay. They might come towards you, but right now, they've been distracted with work. Okay. Because they're very stressed about the work as well. But they have you in their mind. They have passion for you. And the moment they see you, if they're not yet in your life, they're going to leave everything and come towards you. And if they know you, then right now they are distracted with work. But they have you in their mind and they're going to come towards you soon. Like real soon. My God. You're their wish fulfillment. Did you see a single negative card coming up for you? Yes or no? No. Because love is a bound. My God, my God. Did you see this? I need not pull any more cards in that bottom of the deck that says a love offer coming your way, a marriage offer coming your way. What's happening? August seems to be like a really good month for all the signs. I feel the Virgo card was, the Virgo reading was also very good. Okay. So let's see when exactly is this person going to ask you for marriage. I know this person is going to take it slow. Things cannot be like, you, you cannot get married in next month. It can't happen like that. So let's see what, when this marriage is going to take place. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. So I feel that right now you might be dealing with someone or you might be expecting someone to marry you. That person might not be the one. So this very soon another person is going to come towards you and really going to tell you how they make you make their life complete. You make the, them happy. You're the one for them. And you're the ultimate soulmate that they were looking for. So now is the time for you to find the one. This person will automatically find you. You won't have to do anything. Okay. But time is up. Time is uh, now. This is the divine time. So this person is going to come towards you. Okay. Really soon. Look for a sign. So you might see some signs. Okay. There might be. This person might be a Gemini as well. So you might see some signs. Could be 111. A lot of 111. Or a lot of repetition in numbers. You will see. When this person starts approaching you. When the universe starts bringing this person towards you. You'll see the signs. Repeating signs. In front of you. Okay. Attraction, someone will be highly, highly, highly attracted to you. Did you see so many wands over here? So this person is going to be very attracted to you. So this will be a love at first sight. I don't know. I just want to read this card like love at first sight. So this person will be crazy about you, okay? And if you know this person already is not showing you the signs and this person might be hiding the fact, okay? But not anytime soon they're going to open up. They're going to show you exactly what is there in the mind so stay positive all right so something great is coming up scorpio please 
my god honeymoon so yes you're gonna get married to this person okay and if you're not looking for marriage then soon you're gonna get cozy with each other okay so this is very strong commitment coming up oh my god so what else you want me to say everything's here so this person is gonna marry you okay so let me just i just want to pull these okay wisdom cards let me just see what I get in this. Okay. I was expecting. I was expecting soulmates. That is why I pulled this. Soulmate connection. Ultimate connection. The divine connection. Because God wants this to happen at the right time. Some of you might be seeing a lot of four, four, fours. Peace. This connection will ultimately bring you to the ultimate peace that you wanted. Surrender pity. So leave it on God. Because you're going to see a lot of repetitive numbers. That is why I wanted to pull these cards to see if the soulmate card comes out. So this is your ultimate soulmate. So love of the lifetime is coming towards you. So be ready. Okay. Prepare yourself for the D-Day. What are the possible signs that are coming towards you in August? Okay. This person could be a Leo. Could be a Sag. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. They love adventure. They'll take you out on a lot of dates. Okay, very, this person will have a lot of leadership qualities, Taurus, this person could be Taurus, very rich, very abundant, okay, Scorpio piece is coming to, oh my god, I don't want to just, let me reshuffle them, Scorpio, Scorpio, All right, Scorpio, major transformation coming up in your life. So yeah, this person could be another Scorpio as well. But I feel that there will be an emotional change in your life. You'll get more stable, okay? So this is what we get for Scorpio. I hope you guys like this reading. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and hit the bell icon. And mention in the comment section how this resonated. Bye-bye.